guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video I've done in a few days. I've been down at PTG Outdoors at uh, Lake Grenada. And I'm gonna tell you what, what an awesome group of people down there. We had a fantastic time, big crappie blowout, trying to get everything going. The lake's a little low, but uh, they tell me there's some, there's a couple other lakes in there, Sardis and maybe Edith, if that's what they told me right. And of course the famous Lake Grenada. We down there, we did a lot, a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, seminars. I was helping people on their boats and everything like that. But here's one, one awesome announcement. Once a month, I'm going to go back down there for a couple days and I'm going to do on the water classes. And then I'm also going to do, we're going to do a seminar series where one of those nights we're going to get back at PTG Outdoors, uh, probably get some good food. I don't know if we're going to do that or not. I'm trying to throw that in there. Maybe Ron will do that for us, but we're going to meet up everybody's going to get in. We'll, we're going to try to get some guides in there, try to get a bunch of fishermen in there and just have a huge seminar where we, you know, it's me, maybe some guides in there and we're going to all just try to sit and talk and share some, uh, you know, secrets and techniques and tips and things like that. So that's going to be really, really awesome. And I think we're going to do that once a month. And when it comes up, um, during that time, um, I'm looking to, this is awesome. Now I'm probably going to give away one free, on the water course at each one of these seminars if we can hit a certain threshold of people and i don't think that's going to be a problem because it was packed what a great place they got tons of crappie stuff you look for crappie stuff ptg is the way to go but today i want to talk about one thing we have been experimenting with the perspective and the forward mode uh that's been a the thing that we've been talking about and i had the two units up there well i gotta be honest with you there was a there was an update uh maybe two three four updates back where they made it where you could simultaneously put the forward and the perspective mode on one screen. And um, I completely forgot about it. And some of my friends from down in Australia that I follow one of their pages and I post to it, they uh, reminded me about this, which was really, really awesome feature. And so, hey, look, I'm going to show you what we do. I'm going to show you about it today, just kind of show you how to do it how to get it set up on your screen uh, you still must have two transducers you still must have two black boxes but it will allow you to possibly get out there with only one screen me i'm a big time proponent of uh, of, of one screen I, I i don't really like to have the two two screens because it does you get to going back and forth and i think you spend too much time looking not enough time fishing so by using the one screen and splitting the screens, and then when they say get into that uh, get into that area, or you may not even want to switch it off of it, you can switch to either screen that you want to, but you have both screens on one unit as opposed to using two and trying to look back and forth. And that's really, really awesome, really good use for somebody who may not have that second unit because uh, financially it can be a huge investment to have that second unit. I'm big on having that one unit up front. I just want one unit up front. Uh, maybe one day I'll give me an 8616, or, but I ain't got there yet. That thing's, you got to, I got to sell the house. I don't think mama gonna let me sell the house to get that. But uh, let's get into it right now. I wanna show you how to get it up on your screen. And then from now on, all the recordings will be one screen and I won't have them split. So they'll even be more linked up and more and perfectly synced than they ever have before. And we're really, really gonna start breaking down not only some techniques and things that we do with this, but one of the things I have found is like we talked about it a little bit before with the stitching problems and some interesting findings that I have found about that 20 degree beam. May not be 20 degrees. But let's get into it right now. Let's just let me show you how I do it. I'll just show you how to set it up on your unit. And then after we set it up on your unit, I'll show you how to set the combos and things like that. And that'll get you going. And then ne the next subsequent videos, we'll start breaking down some of these. I kind of like this setup better than the two units. As a matter of fact, took the one unit, moved it back to the console. Um, might even have a little surprise popping up on the front unit for you. But let's go. All right, you want to go into your main settings page. And from your main settings page, you'll go down to where the simulator is and you'll turn the simulator on. Now, by turning it on, um, this is to make it recognize that second unit. And then you'll want to go back and when you, you're going to reset it. So you're going to go to system information. You're going to go to reset. And when you go to reset, 
There it is right there. You're going to reset default settings. You're not going to do any other kind of resets. Now, we're not going to reset this because then it'll have to go through the whole setup again. But hypothetically, it'll do a countdown from 20 when you do this, and it'll go all the way down to zero. And then it'll make you reset up your unit. Now, as we've reset it, we're going to you know assume that we've already reset it. We're going to go ahead and turn our simulator off and now what we've got to do is we have to create a combo uh, this combo doesn't exist but it was a new combo that was allowed to be added a few a uh, few software upgrades back uh, maybe in the 28 version I, I think it was that area you'll create a combo now you'll on the left side what i like to do is put my forward mode on the left side but you can put either or um, I have it marked where my the GG Rods is my forward mode, and then my Garmin Guru right here will be my perspective mode. Now, when you first set this up, um, you're allowed to choose the layout that you want. Now, I personally don't like the ones over the top. I like the side-by-side -side layouts um, like this one right here. Now, when you choose this layout... Um, you, there's a few other things you can add, like overlay data and that, but that's for a whole different thing. But once you get it set up like this, you're going to click on done. Now, when it click on done, you'll see from this setup that the left-hand side is your forward position and your right-hand side is your perspective position. Now, one thing that's to, to know is they adjust individually. Uh, you do not want these uh, set on the same forward distance. Um and we'll explain, we'll kind of talk about that in a later setting, but you want to have those slightly off. I won't, Usually what I like to have is my perspective mode a little bit further out than my forward mode uh, just for, uh, for the basis of being able to see my cone. We're going to talk about a lot of this in the other ways, but right now we're just working about setting up our units. Now, you'll need to get into each of these units and set it up exactly how you want it and then go forward. All right, guys. How did you like that? How is that may be a better option for people wanting to put that second unit or that second transducer up there, but just doesn't have the funds uh, available to purchase a second you know, unit up front. They can put it up on one unit. Um, Lord knows they're very, very expensive and it's a big investment, but I believe it's an investment that will pay dividends, um, especially when you're fishing for, you know, out fishing that, uh, those brush piles and, and that cover out there, helping you get a better lineup, but also helping you understand your beam, because that was one thing when we had it on different units, it doesn't have the beam overlay on the perspective mode. It will have the beam overlay now on the perspective mode up here and that is awesome and a very very important feature when it comes to uh being able to make sure that your bait is in that cone of that forward mode but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you're in the grenade area get out to ptg outdoors hey they are awesome very nice folks good christian folks and i'm gonna tell you what if you haven't found jesus you need to think about trying to do it get to your church you don't have to do this out in public it can be a private thing your preacher will help you and they'll get you with folks out there because i'm gonna tell you what the way the world's going uh you know you better find jesus and better find jesus in a hurry because i think if we don't and we don't get together and come together as christians we may be headed down a path that we can't fix but you know god bless you thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Ring the bell.